Greetings everyone. This video is just a short chat with something that's in my heart that I wanted to share with you all. I was lying here in bed and I was thinking about Christmas and what it means. It is a celebration of goodwill and love to everyone. And I thought about all the wonderful things that have happened in my life. All those little acts of kindness that I have received from other people. And I was praying that I hope that I too have performed acts of kindness towards others. And that I would continue to do so for the rest of my life. I thought about two particular things, two experiences I've had in my life that has had a profound effect on me and I would like to share it with you. Quite a number of years ago, I had entered into a, a singing competition and at the competition there was a man there who looked kind of down on himself and he didn't have any friends or anybody there with him. But when it was his opportunity to get on the stage and sing, he really put his all into it. And I can tell that this was a dream come true to him, to be on the stage singing a song that seemed so uncharacteristic of him to be singing but um, but it was something you can tell that it was a dream come true for him now there were other people that was there they were kind of laughing at him um, he was a very kind of I don't know well, he was, he was a man, he, he didn't seem like he had any particular, I don't know, umph about him maybe, people thought. At any rate, he sang um, a song that really portrayed as someone who was singing as kind of a bit of a Casanova. But he had displayed none of those characteristics in his uh, physique or his personality. So, in a way, I suppose it was for a moment there, he got an opportunity to express something inside of him that only he knew, I suppose, was in him. But when he finished, he got off the stage, and I applaud him because I... I felt the joy coming out of him, that this, this really meant something to him. And he got off the stage and he walked into the corner, he sat there by himself and he looked really down in himself. And I watched him and I decided to go over and speak to him and tell him how much I enjoyed his performance. And he looked at me and he said, okay, he said, thank you. And I talked to him for about five minutes. And, um, and then I wished him well. I remember afterwards, I thought about him and I offered a prayer for him. I didn't know what was the reason why he was down. I know he said he had been taking care of his father and um, it was tough for him and that was pretty much his life. So to get out of the house, an opportunity to socialize and do something was, well, it was quite um, an event for him. Anyway, I met him again, uh, quite by accident, a few years later. It was late one evening and I was just got off from work and I was walking down the, the street when I looked up and I saw him again delighted to see him again and I said hello Don how are you and uh, 
He looked up at me and he said, Hi, Angela, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. But he still looked down. He didn't, he didn't smile. He acknowledged me and um, I felt his sadness. So I said, how are you? And he said, I'm okay. And I said, um, so what's going on with you? Trying to keep it upbeat. And he said his father had passed away since the last time I had met him. And he said he's not doing much anything now. And I said, oh, okay. And then um, he said, well, I have to go. And I said, well, it was great to meet you again. And I said, you know, take care. And he said, you too. And then just as he went to walk away, he turned around and he said to me, he said, thanks for remembering my name. And I said, remember your name? I said, well, of course I remember your name. And he said, well, most people don't. He said, but thank you for remembering my name. And then he turned around and he walked off. And that hit me like a ton of bricks. I thought, oh my God. Oh my God, is there people in the world that feel so alone and visible that a mere stranger like myself who met him for five minutes years prior to that remember their name and it meant that much to them that changed my viewpoint of life that day there was another incident something similar this happened when I was about 19 I have an uncle who has a mental illness and he's been that way since I was about one years old and my uncle is always surrounded by people and family um, but this one particular day I was at my grandmother's house and he came into the kitchen and he was annoyed and upset and he was ranting on about him not having a woman that he wants a woman and he want a, to be with a woman and he was going on like that and my aunt was laughing at him as a lot of people do not taking him seriously and just think, okay, he's going off again on one of his tangents. But I stood there and I looked at him and I could see that he was really upset. So I listened. And I said to him, I said, well, of course you can get a woman. I said, of course you can meet someone. He said, no, nobody wants me. He said, no woman wants me and no woman wants to be with me. And I said, I don't believe that's true. I said, that's not true. I said, of course somebody will want you. And he said, no, no one cares about me. No one loves me. And my heart just sank when he said that because you could feel the anguish in his voice. And I said, I love you. And he looked at me and he just said, nobody loves me. So I went over to him and I threw my arms around him and I held him close so that he can feel my love for him. And he let me hug him. And when I let go, he was crying. And I thought, my God, I said, why are you crying? He said, that's the first time someone has touched me in years. And I said, you're joking. He said, no, I'm not. He said, no one touches me. No one hugs me. He said, everyone stays away from me. And I thought, my God, my heart sank. And I said, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't know. I said, but I want you to know I love you. And I hug him again. That too has such a profound effect on me. 
so many people in the world that go through life feeling alone and invisible. There's no reason for it, really. We just take so much for granted. And so many people fall in the cracks because of it. There are people in the world that may not even talk to someone on any given day. They literally wouldn't even have a conversation about the weather. And they can go on for years that way, even though they're surrounded by people. No one takes the time to say hello, look at them. Even to get a look from someone and a smile is acknowledgement that you're alive, that they see you, that they care. There are so many ways in which we can love each other. Little acts of kindness. It doesn't take a lot from any of us. To say hello, how are you? How are you doing? Give someone a helping hand in the supermarket or across the street. Any little act of kindness can mean so much to someone. Indeed, even save someone's life. I think many people commit suicide because they feel so alone. They think no one cares. But there's too many of us here on this planet, more than enough, that not one person should go through life feeling invisible and feeling like no one cares. That's what our hearts are for, to show each other that we care. I know I am certainly so grateful for all the little kindness all the goodwill acts that I have received throughout my life, and my heart recalls them all, and I thank God for them. And I pray to God that I have also have performed acts of kindness to others, and I pray I will continue to do so. Christmas is the time for us to remember goodwill to all people. Doesn't matter who they are. Doesn't even matter where they're from. It's, that is the spirit of Christ, is to express and show love to everyone. And no act is too small is also meaningful. Saying hello to someone who haven't spoken to someone in days is huge. It may be a small moment for you, but it could be so meaningful to somebody else. And when the person is so desperate in need, any small thing that you may think of could be a very great thing to them. Love is what creation is all about. It is what we want in the beginning and is the things that we remember in the end. I just want to share that with anyone who has an ear to listen. And I want to leave you with this thought. It's a quote. I should pass this way. There is any good thing that I can do for anyone. Let me do it now. For I know that any small thing or great thing that I can do for someone would help them. 
it can be a lifeline. So God, help me keep the light of my heart on, and let it be a beacon to guide someone home. I want to wish everyone a very merry Christmas. Christmas, the season to remember goodwill and loving kindness to all life and all.